Welcome to the sun-soaked spring countryside of Worcestershire. This weekend we're in the three county showgrounds to kickstart a new show season at Welks Championship Dog Show. In Malvern at the West of England Ladies Kennel Society, we will watch Portuguese judge Luís Pinto Teixeira narrow down all of this weekend's best of breed winners across the seven groups. He will judge his seven group winners with just one of them going home as best in show. But before we look ahead to the action this weekend, we need to take a look at the big winners in recent weeks. Analyzing for us this weekend is Simon Parkins. Thank you very right. much for joining us, Simon. Thank you. Um, now, actually, the, the only show we've missed since our last programme at Hound Association of Scotland uh, was Working Past for Breeds of Wales. Paul Lawless, the judge, fittingly awarded it to a Welsh-based dog. Indeed he did. Uh, Paul is a very successful breeder exhibitor from Ireland who is a regular visitor to Britain, both as a judge and uh, an exhibitor. Uh, his winner was a, a Siberian Husky whose name is Winter Melody Hot on the Top at Amical, <laughs> otherwise known as Hottie, would you believe? He's owned by a young man called Ellis Rees and handled by his mother, Caroline Friend Rees. Uh, Caroline and her husband, Anthony, they're uh, a young couple from, from Wales who have both been involved in the dog show scene since they were teenagers. They, they have a very successful kennel of Siberian Huskies and they've bred many champions themselves and they also use them for, uh, as, a, as a, a working team. Uh, a few years ago they, they admired on the, the internet some Siberian Huskies from a kennel in Poland. Then they heard that this kennel was going to use uh, start a dog from a top kennel in America. So they thought, wow, this is a chance to get some bloodlines that they'd always wanted. And eventually they brought over a young dog puppy, is Hottie, who did uh, tremendously well as a young puppy in the show ring. It was a Puppy of the Year finalist and got Best Puppy in Show All Breeds at a, a one of our big championship shows. And now he's gradually maturing and has now won two challenge certificates and last weekend got uh, Best in Show at this show, which is for the working and pastoral groups. So, um, And that, of course, brings us here to Welks this weekend. Indeed, yeah. And after Crust yeah. is a cluster of... Uh, breed championship shows and group championship yes, shows. Yeah. Um, Welks has seen as the, the start of a new show season. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's always a, a lovely journey down to Malvern with Blossom Out. It always gives us a good feeling that the show season is now really starting. It's traditionally been the first outdoor all breeds championship show of the season and uh, as such is, is one that, that we're all very fond of. Uh, so don't be surprised if you see some new faces winning groups at the shows early in the year. Absolutely. Uh, last, last year, uh, uh, a wild fox terrier made his debut at, at this show and, and uh, won the group and then went on and has now won 10 Best in Show All Breeds Awards since, since then. So who knows what may happen. It's, quite, it's the show where people like to bring out their, their youngsters and sometimes they make a big splash. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. I'll speak to you again later yeah. on after the group. Yeah. The first day of Welt sees the working hounds and terriers being judged. The groups are being judged today by Lewis Pinto and Teixeira okay, and first in the ring is the Terrier group. First to go, the Irish Terrier. Followed by the Miniature Bull Terrier. And the Parson Russell Terrier. <laughs> the Border Terrier. <laughs> the West Highland White Terrier. The Australian Terrier. And the Wire Fox Terrier. And the boards have been asked for, so a decision has been made. And the 
winner is a wire-haired fox terrier. Congratulations. And in group two, the West Highland White Terrier. Group three, the Miniature Bull Terrier. And group four is the Irish Terrier. A round of applause for those leaving the ring, please. Done extremely well. Thank you very much indeed. Well, Bill, that's uh, another group win for Travella Striking Steel, and uh, this time you're on the end of the lead, not Richard. I know, uh, I think I'm super sub this week. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a, a superb day, but he's come in the group and he's looked superb. Oh, I'm thrilled with him. He's really peaking. And as you know, he's, uh, I'm very proud to have bred him. <laughs> yeah. uh, and now uh, Mr. Victor Malzoni owns him, you know, so we've got to try and fly the flag for Mr. Malzoni. <laughs> What what are Oliver's plans for for the rest of 2014? I think he'll be. I'm pretty sure he's going to be shown this year. Yeah. Then Victor will take him to uh, Brazil. Well, people say uh, they might say, oh, he's still being shown, but this is only his first year. Yeah. Today. Yes. This is his anniversary. So um, uh, ten all breed bests in show. You've had a year now that I think is 18, 19 group wins perhaps yeah, with like that, with yeah. today. And today you it's the anniversary of his first group win yeah. with another one. It yeah. must be fantastic. Oh, I mean, it's just. It's unbelievable because we didn't expect it. You know, <laughs> this time last year, we're, we brought him to see if he'd stand up and see what he was like because he'd never been out the kennel, yeah. as the yeah. saying is, because he was held back because of our bitch. What we did a lot of winning yeah. with uh, the previous year. Well, and I understand you've got a bit of a busy day on Sunday now. On Sunday, <laughs> uh, I've got a club show to judge in Wells, so I got a race up here, but I. I I, I got another pal, Andy Frost, and if I can't make it, I'm sure you'll do well showing it. Well, thanks very much, and we'll see you on Sunday. It's a pleasure, thank you. Now, let's have some support for these six dogs. Great day. The Alaskan Malamute. The Boxer. The Rottweiler. The Bullmastiff. Portuguese water dog. Congratulations, Peter. Another group win for Mac. You must be elated. Oh, really pleased. Uh, we've had a tough week this week, but this has really rounded off. Um, it's been very good. Fantastic. Um, we, we also saw him earlier in the year winning a, a group at Boston. Is that right? Yeah, that, that was his first group, and he had reserve best in show on that day. Uh, a very good result, and you've got to hope for some more now. <laughs> oh, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, this could be his year. Um, and at Boston, you came reserve to Oliver the Wire Fox, and he won the group just oh, earlier. Well. Yes, yeah, so, so we have to compete again <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday. Um, tell us a bit about his, his background. Um, he's an import from Norway. Um, I've got good friends over there, Hildy and Glenn. Um, we went over when he was 10 weeks old and fell in love with him. Um, we imported him when he was six months old. Um, it took a little bit of getting used to the climatisation, yeah. um, 
but really he's, he's done us so so proud. He was a champion by the time he was 13 months. Wow, okay. um, he was top ball master of last year, um, and this year he's just going on from there. So how old is he now? He's just two. Oh, wow, he look, looks a, a big man for that as well. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's still quite immature, really. He's got a little bit more growth to do. He has to body up a little bit yeah. more, um, but we've got high hopes for him. He certainly looks a super dog. We'll see you again on Sunday and best of luck. OK, thanks a lot. Now let's have some support for these dogs, please. And the first to move off is the Greyhound. <laughs> the Irish Wolfhound. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Norwegian Elk Hound. The Whippet. The Basset Hound. The smooth head accent. The wire head dachshund. <laughs> and the petty basset griffon handy. the group is and the winner of the group is the whip it well done group two is the Norwegian elk hand well done Group three is the Petty Passy Griffon Bondy. And group four is the Bassett. Can we have a round of applause for those leaving the ring, please? And off you go. Well done to you all. And we look forward to seeing the Whippet back on Sunday. Congratulations, Jane. Troy's doing an awful lot of winning at the moment, isn't he? He's coming into his own at the moment. <laughs> he's just turned four and a half, so he's just he's just in his prime now. And we've had a super super year. Yeah. We've had, this is our fifth CC and best of breed this year already. So um, fantastic. And last year he was top pound as well. Last year top pound. It's his 25th ticket. <laughs> it's like it's unbelievable. So. And a third group today as well. His third group one, yep, fantastic. Fantastic. Um, tell us a bit more about Troy, because we haven't heard a lot about his, him in, in his younger days. No, well, I didn't show him until he was just two. Um, you know, he was a dog. I had a car accident. I couldn't really do very much. I just let him grow up, and he came out in postgraduate. And then very shortly after, got his first ticket at Bath under Liz Cartledge. And that was less than two years ago, when he's massed up 25 and it's uh, it's just amazing and whippets which yeah. is you know it's we've got some beautiful quality whippets it's and, a and massive entries as well good entries really good entries and super super dogs so yeah i feel really privileged well thank you very much for talking to us um, and best of luck for sunday thank you thank you Luis, that's the end of day one you've seen the terriers hounds and working groups what did you think of your quality today Okay, as always, they are top dogs and not not so good dogs. But uh, <laughs> but but the quality, the best, uh, the three best in, best, gr best in group was lovely dogs. Uh, the terrier was a, a fantastic uh, wire fox terrier, fantastic. The working was very very nice and very sound, bull mastiff. Yeah. 
And the last one for the hounds was a lovely whippet. And whippet was not, not the, it was not the reason, but it was the biggest entry in, in this show. Yeah. And lovely whippet. Three best in show dogs, very easy. I think tomorrow, if you have the same level, it would be difficult to choose the best in show. <laughs> because these three dogs, and also some, some seconds and third, very good quality. I think for me, the hound group was not so strong. Mm. And uh, as you know, in the FCI, we have a, a group for dachshunds. Yes. So and the dachshunds, and it? yes, and dachshunds yeah. in this group, uh, it's not so easy, you know. So it's a difficult group. So I think the overall group is not so strong as the terriers and, and, the, and the working. Um, and I saw you earlier on, and, and you're not exactly enjoying the Worcestershire climate. It's not exactly Mediterranean. But, but I'm used, I, I came often to England, so I know what type of weather you have, and you are used. But you have a beautiful country, on account of is is green, green, even yeah. in summer is green. But I'm used to that, and, and I just inside, so for me it was not a problem. Uh, fingers crossed it clears up and you get to see the lovely countryside. Uh, yes, see you tomorrow, I hope so. Well, there you are, Simon, end of day one. Um, the, the first group of the night goes to uh, the Oliver the Wire Fox. Yes, uh, this is uh, exactly a year since he, he first appeared in the show ring and <laughs> has had such a sensational time since, as we, as we said earlier on. So, uh, unusually today, he was handled by his breeder, Bill Brown Cole, as yeah. his usual handler, Richard Allen, has taken his children off to, to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, Bill had to actually show the dog himself and did a very professional job of it, of course. And didn't want shown up by Richards, had to win the group. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Um, and second group in uh, goes to the Bull Mastiff. Yes, yeah, this is a dog that's been on its way up for, for a while. He's a, a Norwegian import called Champion Old Manila's Whiskey Mac of Optimus, owned by Pete Myers. And he's been steadily winning group places last year. And this year at Boston Show, he was reserve best in show. And here he's won his second group, obviously a dog to watch out for this year, I'm sure. Um, and lastly, we see the Whippet Shalfleet Simply Alord taking his third group. Yes, a well-known face from last year when he ended up top hound. He's been best of breed two years running at Crafts with a group placing both times. So uh, a dog who's really making his mark as a stud dog as well as a show dog. Um, and I believe won his first group here last year as well. Indeed, yes. Um, well, thank you very much, Simon. We'll see you again tomorrow. Let's see you there. Welcome back to Around the Dog World in the Three County Showground. It's day two of Welk's Championship Dog Show with the gun dogs and toys being judged. First in the ring for Luis Pinto Taishaira is the toy group. Please everyone, give your support to these dogs. First to move is the Cavalier King Charles. The Bichon Frise. The Coton de Toulier. The Pug. The Papillon. <laughs> the Smooth Coat Chihuahua. <laughs> and the Maltese. Final look at the seven dogs. And the winner is the Papillon. Congratulations. Group two is the Bichon Frise. Third is the Maltese. And group four, the Cotton de Toulier. <laughs> Off you go. Round of applause for more, please. <laughs> Many congratulations. 
and we shall see the Papillon back with us tomorrow to compete for Best in Show. The winner of the toy group was Papillon Jan, and we're here with co-owner Jeffrey Davis. A great win for Jan, wasn't it? It was an outstanding win for him, and uh, I like to think a well-deserved one. <laughs> Topping a very strong toy group, uh, he's an outstanding dog with a great presence for the big ring, and most importantly, was superbly handled and presented by Tom Isherwood. And tell us about Jan's history. I first saw Jan as a young puppy when he was shown to me by Pat Irwin, his breeder, and I thought he had an outstanding career ahead of him. He did have a spectacular puppy career, winning a reserve CC, and then in adolescence uh, went through a period of levelling off. And it was thought that an ideal opportunity existed for Jan to go and live with Vesa Torovan, who is a tremendous papillon specialist in Finland. And uh, he had a tremendously successful career in Finland. He was returned to the UK in March the finished article. And your involvement with winning dogs this year doesn't just stop at Jan, you're also the co-owner of uh, Audrey the Wire Fox that was Pup of the Year winner this year. Uh, I'm tired being a lucky chap yeah. in my dotage, <laughs> being surrounded with this bevy of beauty. Yeah. It has really rejuvenated my interest in the world of dogs and gives me something to look forward to over the next 12 months. First, we have the Irish Setter. Followed by the Labrador. The Vimarana. The Italian Spinoli. The Hungarian Wiesler. The Irish Water Spaniel. The Columbus Spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel. and the German Wirehead Pointer. <laughs> Mr. Tuxedo taking a final look around these dogs to make his eventual selection. And the winner of the Gundog Group Welks 2014 will be the Weimarana. <laughs> Group two, the Italian Spinoni. Group three, the German Wirehead Pointer. And group four, the Labrador. A round of applause, please, for those leaving the ring. Congratulations to you all. And we shall see the Weimarana back tomorrow to compete for Best in Show. Ed, congratulations. A group win for Doug. Is that his first? No, it's his second. He won the group at South Wales a couple of years ago. Um, and he's also a, a group winner in New Zealand before, before he arrived here. So he was still a relative youngster, but he had won a couple of groups before, before he arrived here. And, and what's his record like now in the UK? Um, he's got 15 CCs. Uh, he was top five runner a couple of years ago. Yes, yeah, he's been very lucky and uh, very fortunate. Um, very, very pleased. Um, and what are your preparations for tomorrow now? You've you obviously got to come back. Are there any special measures you have to take now? Uh, no, just uh, an extra long run on the beach tonight, I think, and, uh, <laughs> and a nice dinner. I think. And a bottle of champagne. Yeah, 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 that, that's it. <laughs>
Well, congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow. Brilliant, thanks a lot. Lewis, that's your fourth and fifth group of the weekend out of the way. What did you think of your, your group winners today? Today, the, the toy group uh, had some nice dogs. I think the Papillon is outstanding because the movement of their Papillon is amazing. The, the coat condition, lovely. The, the, the set of the ears are beautiful. It's really a beautiful, beautiful dog. The second one was uh, Bichon Frise, very well uh, shown, very, very typey, with very good pigmentation around the eyes and, uh, and a lovely coat condition. Very, very, very pretty. And today was, is not the easiest day for toys, was it? No, 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 <laughs> of course not. <laughs> And in the gun dog, uh, uh, I expect better. As yeah. a big group, for me, uh, some dogs were quite normal dogs. It was not a very exciting group. Right. Even in the retrievers, I expect better. Mm. Uh, even, the, even the Labrador was fought. It was a nice Labrador, but with a big Henry, I expect better. And my best in group is a Vamarana, a beautiful Vamarana. And I was very impressed with the Spinoni because we don't have, even in Italy, there are very few Spinonis in the dog show. Yeah. And this Spinoni is gorgeous. It's a correct top line because the people think that the Spinoni has a level top line. Now the top line means nev never level. And beautiful head, lovely, lovely head. Yeah. These two dogs, uh, I was really, really, really impressed. You, you must have itchy feet now to get into best in show tomorrow. Yes, but uh, uh, yes, 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 okay. But uh, uh, until now, I have my decision. Do you have a winner in your mind already or are you I, waiting I, for tomorrow? I am waiting for tomorrow, but until now, I have my winning. These two days, I have my winning. And we, we have also to think that the dogs and the animals are not machines. No. They can't change in one day, in one night. Well, Simon, there we are at the oh, end of so day two at Welks. Um, we finished up with a Papillon and a Vimarana. Uh, tell us a bit about the Papillon. Yeah, this is a quite an exciting new face in, 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 the, in the group ring. He's a dog called uh, Finnish champion Paparazzi Painted Lord, known as Jan. He's owned by Pat and Tom Irwin. At one of the shows recently, he was spotted by well-known toy dog exhibitor Jeffrey Davies, who thought this looks rather exciting. <laughs> and they now have him in partnership, and they've agreed that he should be shown by Tom Isherwood, a brilliant handler who did yes. so well with the famous Chinese crested Nora a couple of years ago. Yeah. And this, in fact, Papillons are Tom's original breed, so it's, it's nice that he's got a, a really super one to show. And he's shown him twice now. He won reserve CC at the club show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And now CC best to breed and the group win. So a fantastic start to his, yeah, his show career. And the second yeah. group of the night, the yeah. Gundogs, yeah. goes to a dog, again with foreign roots, yeah. uh, from New Zealand. Yes, um, bred to the other side of the world. He's a, a Weimarana called uh, show champion, New Zealand champion, Karn Mellis, hot diggity dog, known as Doug, <laughs> at, at Gunalt. He was imported to Britain by Patsy Hollings of the famous Gunalt Kennel. And he's, he's now owned by uh, Ed Casey and Richard Stafford from Wales. And they, they've had a great career with him. I think he's won 15 challenge certificates. And the, this was his uh, second group, group win. So, so he's been a, a good influence on the, on the breed. We've, we've had five super group winners. Indeed, we'll see yeah. you again for tomorrow and yeah. best in show. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Welcome back to Around the Dog World on the third and final day of Welk's Championship Dog Show. It is the turn of pastoral and utility breeds today, but the weather has played its part yet again. All judging has taken place inside. However, first in the big ring for Luis Pinto Taishaira is the utility breed. Please show your support for these dogs as they move. And first we have the Kays Hunt. The Japanese Shiba Inu. The Miniature Poodle. The French Bulldog. The German Spitz Klein. The Tibetan Spaniel. The Lazo Abso.
and the Bulldog. Now a final decision has to be made and the winner of the utility group is the German Spitz Klein. Well done. Number seven, four, six, seven. Group two is the Japanese Shiba Inu, number seven, five, five, four. Group three is the Miniature Poodle, which is number seven, eight, three, six. And group four is the Bulldog, number seven, one, one, zero. Well done, congratulations to you all. And could we have a round of applause for those leaving the ring, please? Well done. gentlemen we need you to support your breeds first we have the German Shepherd followed by the Tavura the bearded collie The Samoyed. The Rough Collie. The Shetland Sheepdog. and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. <laughs> Who will be the winner of the pastoral group, Welks 2014? The Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Six nine two one. Group two is the bearded collie number six one two four. Group three is the German Shepherd number six four nine eight. And group four is a Samoyed number six six eight four. Please give a round of applause to those leaving the ring. Many congratulations. Round you go. Many congratulations to you all. the finale of Welks 214, best in show. And first into the ring is the Weimarana, the Bull Mastiff, the Whippet, the Cardigan Corgi, the Wirehaired Fox Terrier, the German Spitz Klein, and the Papillon. Our best in show judge has judged all of these dogs before. First to be examined is Vimarana. This came through from the second day. This dog was sent through by Mr. Chris Hill. The number is 4724. Ladies and gentlemen, the Weimaraner 4724. 
That's right. Let's support all of them. From the first day, we have the Bull Mastiff sent through by Mr. David Webster. This dog is number four, 1424. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bull Master, one to one, four, two, four. Again, coming through from Friday, this is the Whippet, sent through by Mrs. Jenny Dove. Sorry, Miss Jenny Dove. And the dog's number is 1048. Ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, the Whippet, number 1048. On the table now we have the Cardigan Corgi, sent through from the breed by Margot Hackney. His number is 6921. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cardigan Corgi, number 6921. On the table now again from Friday, from the Terrier Group, the Wild Fox Terrier, the dog number 2655. This dog was sent through by Mr. Jeff Horswell. Ladies and gentlemen, the wire-haired fox terrier, number 2655. On the table now from the utility group today, the German Spitz Klein, number 7467. This dog was sent through by Ellen Blight. Ladies and gentlemen, the German Spitz Klein number 7467. <laughs> On the table now from yesterday's toy group, the Papillon, put through by Mrs. Zena Thorne Andrews, and the number is 5762. Ladies and gentlemen, the Papillon, and the number is 5731. <laughs> Who will be best in show, Welks 2014? A decision is imminent, I feel. And from a wonderful line out of dog lineup of dogs. Best in show is the wirehead fox terrier. Congratulations. Number two six five five. Reserve best in show. The Papillon. <laughs> well done. Congratulations to the other group winners. Please give them a round of applause as they leave the ring. Just to wear you out. Well done.
Well, that is an 11th All Breeds Best in Show for Oliver. Congratulations, Bill. That's uh, quite a record. The National Terrier. Yeah, of course. Best in Show at the National Terrier. And, uh, so if you count that, it's 12 in 12 months, <laughs> which isn't bad, because he's only had a 12-month career. Yeah. First group here last year. First Best in Show was Birmingham National, which is in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Incredible. Oh, I'm just so, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. We spoke to you on Friday and uh, Richard isn't here this weekend, no. so you, you had to really show Richard how it's done, didn't you? Well, let's hope he watches the video. <laughs> <laughs> we saw you with Audrey earlier oh, on at yes, Pop of the Year. Yes. What's her plan for the year? Well, I'm hoping to show her and Richard will carry on showing uh, Oliver. Fantastic. Because Audrey is gorgeous. Yeah. She, yeah, but she's a baby, she's coming up slowly. Uh, I'm really looking forward to showing her and I'm hoping to make her a champion. Well, I'm sure we'll see you throughout the year. Congratulations again. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Congratulations, Tom. Thank You've you. only had uh, Jan for a couple of weeks, but looks like you're having quite an effect. Absolutely. He's, he's been fantastic. He's settled in straight away and he's a show in full. So <laughs> we've, we've bonded really well and just over the moon with his first two shows with me. And, and are you going to show him for the rest of the year? Uh, yeah, all being well, that's the plan, you know, <laughs> as long as he keeps on doing well and hopefully we can have a bit more fun together. You've only had him for a couple of weeks, but what's he like to show? He just, he loves to move, so, you know, he's, he's out there in front and loves every second of it. You know, he's got his own mind as well, but yeah, yeah. on the whole, he's, you know, a super dog and he enjoys it. And which... that must be superb for you, because you, you started in Papillons to, to get your hands on such a good one. Absolutely, yeah, you know, I've had them since I was a child, so had a big break from them with the other breeds that we have, so it's nice to get back in there, as you say, with a really, really good one. Well, Luis, that's three days of judging over for you. Well, we'll start with the groups today. You had the uh, utility group and the pastoral group tonight. Tell us about the, the German Spitz. The, Ger the German Spitz was a, the, the, the German Spitz was a Klein Spitz. It was really gorgeous because it was a, a short dog, very, very square, with always very alert, with beautiful eyes, lovely ears, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And second group of the night was the pastoral group, and that was the Corgi. The Corgi uh, for a cardigan. In general, they're much better uh, Pembroke than cardigan. Yes. And I think this is a very, very nice dog with a, with, a, with a typical front, because as you know, the front must be a little bit open front. Yeah. Very nice top line, beautiful uh, set of the ears. I, I was really impressed with that dog. And finally, you came back in for Best in Show. You had your seven group winners there. And to top the lot was Friday's group winner, the Wire Fox Terrier. Yes, the, the, the fox is outstanding. I cannot say nothing. Then, if tried to say something wrong, then he has no, no nothing, nothing. Yeah. And he was, um, once again, immaculate. The, the coat was fantastic. Uh, uh, and I think, I think, I know some dogs from this breeder, and I think he's the best dog. And, and as a finish, he told me, <laughs> you know, that for me is the best dog I had yeah. until now, and he's fantastic. And what about a Papillon in reserve? Yes, the Papillon is a small machine, fantastic, you know, because he moves fantastic. He has a beautiful, a, a beautiful set of the ears, at 45 degrees, and a lovely head. But uh, between the Papillon and the Clanch Pits, it was not so easy. So you've, you've had your three days of judging. Did you enjoy it? Yes, of course, we enjoy. It's, it's sometimes I have to say to you, but the people, uh, the waiting hours was a little bit boring. <laughs> but then we have a compensation yeah. because I had a, a fantastic lineup, I have to yeah. say to you. If I can compare, I'm going to say this, perhaps the pe people are not so happy at what I'm going to say. The weak group was the gun dog group. Right. I was really not impressed with that group. You can say the, the terrier group and the toy group, perhaps they were the strongest group. Right. But in general, the lineup was beautiful. So on the final day of Welk's Championship Show, we see yet another Best in Show win for Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier. But first, we'll take a look at the groups today. Simon, it was the utility and pastoral groups. First of all, we saw a German Spitz Klein taking yes. its first utility group. Yeah, it's, it's a breed which doesn't often feature, feature at, the, at the top. So it's a hard group to win up against the glamorous poodles and, yes. and so on, but this one has been certainly a dog that's oh, a bit rather that has caught my eye on various occasions, <laughs> and she's won, I think, about six or seven group places before. Today, finally, she, she, she's got to the top. Oh, fantastic. Her name is Champion Longsdale Genuine owned by Dale Francis and Gary Pierce, and uh, they've also been winning in the last few years with a, a male as well, so they've Fantastic. obviously got a strong team at, yeah. at, at present. And the pastoral group mm. was won by the Cardigan Corgi. Yes, well, one of my favourite breeds. I've been <laughs> delighted that over the last few years it has suddenly come up to winning a, a top level. Yeah. It never used to happen until about five years ago, and now a succession of, of Cardigans yeah. have taken top place. This is a young dog champion, Jossita, Mr Blobby. <laughs> uh, he, he had a very good puppy career la last year, 
and he's owned by Peter Clifton, who has been breeding top-winning cardigans for 40, 50 years wow. and, and has had a whole succession of, of top winners that down the generations. Fantastic. Um, and then that, of course, brings us on to Best in Show. Uh, Luis yeah. had his seven group winners yeah. in front of him, a, a high-quality yeah. lineup. Yeah, it must and be very satisfying to have a, a lineup of your own choosing, and, yeah. and what, what an exciting group it was to see. And Oliver the Wire Fox does it yet again. Yet again, number 11. Yeah. <laughs> exactly a year of showing. It's an unprecedented record yeah. for any show dog, and you have to wonder whether the all time record of, which I think is 18, 18 yeah. might, might be a, a threat. Who knows? And that yes. was, of course, yes. Yogi the Hungarian Vizsla, who, yes. who achieved that yes. feat over five or six yes. years. Yes, yes. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. one of the group winners that has had a lot of support over the course of the weekend yes. is, is the reserve best and show Papillon. Yes, this is the, definitely going to be a, a face to watch, I think, <laughs> think this year. Yeah. Paparazzi painted Lord Jan, as well as we'll yeah. no doubt get to know him, that made a big impression on a lot of people yeah. this weekend. Well, thank you very much for joining us this weekend, Simon. Hopefully we see you again later on in the year. Cool. Congratulations, of course, go to Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we see you again at Bath Championship Show. <laughs>